When you start to use a framework like Laravel, it facilitates your development tremendously. And today we're going to touch up on one of those topics that is extremely common in a lot of applications. And that is the concept of pagination. Just so that we are all on the same page, pagination simply means that you're able to break up your records into a set number and then you can divide that into different pages. So in our case, our customers list has 51 entries right now. What if I wanted to paginate them to maybe only display 15 of those at a time? And then at the bottom, I want to add that next button and that way I know when to go to the next page. Laravel pretty much makes this a complete non-issue. It is so simple to do, it's almost laughable. So let's dive right in and take a look how to do pagination. So let's jump into PHP Storm and let me jump to my customer's controller. Now we are obviously in the index method because this is index method in a RESTful controller. We are fetching all of our customers and we are eager loading our company with it and we're saving that to our customer's variable. That customer's variable gets passed into the view and from there we display all of our customers. So let's go to the customer's index view and we see here we're running a for each loop for each of the customers. We are simply just diving in and grabbing each one. All right, fair enough. So I said I wanted to paginate this by 15. So instead of get, I will actually call paginate and inside the parentheses, I'm going to pass in 15, meaning I want 15 records. Go back to the browser and hit refresh. And right away, you see that we are actually paginating. However, we have no way right now of being able to display the next page. We are stuck on page one. All right, let's go back to our index. And now right down here, right outside of the for each, I'm going to actually display the links. Let me do a new row with a column of 12. And I do want that to also be text center. Inside of here, I'm going to echo out using our blade syntax. And all I have to do is call customers and then call this links method. The links method is what Laravel is going to output out as your links for the bottom. Let's go back, hit refresh, and there we are. So now we have pagination. Second page, third page, fourth page. You can even navigate using the arrows. Like I said, Laravel makes pagination pretty much a non-issue all the way around. Now it looks like it didn't like my text center, so let's go ahead and fix that now. Instead of text center, I'm just going to say, give me a display of flex, and let's justify content center. Hit refresh, and there we are. Let's add a little bit of padding top, maybe padding top five. There we go. So that's it. We are paginating. It's that simple. Laravel just makes this so simple. It's a complete non-issue. And now you can simply paginate any customer's list. It doesn't matter how large it is. As a matter of fact, let's add another 500 customers to this list. We can simply do that using our factory. I'm going to call my factory and I'm going to say 500. It's going to take a little bit here. And there we are. Let's go back, hit refresh. And sure enough, now we have 37 pages worth of customers. And it's all perfect. It all works, even though we have a lot of customers. So that's great news. Now, if we wanted to display more than 15 at a time, it is just as simple as going back to your customer's controller. And this 15, let's say I want to display 25 at a time now. Let's go back, hit refresh, and now we get 25 at a time. So there it is, 26 through 50, and so on and so forth. So that's it. That's pagination in Laravel. Go ahead and implement pagination in your own project if you've been following along. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson.